Kate and Prince William extremely concerned about horrendous revelation. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William were confronted with a horrendous reality that left them feeling extremely concerned over safety, according to ITV royal editor Chris Shipp. Before the UK was plunged into lockdown, Kate and Prince William reportedly visited an NHS centre in South London to show their support for frontline workers. However, when confronted with the horrendous reality of the coronavirus crisis, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were left feeling extremely concerned. On the Royal Rota podcast, ITV News Royal editor Chris Shipp and producer Lizzie Robinson spoke about how the royal couple plan to stay engaged with their royal duties while observing isolation rules. Ms. Robinson told listeners, on April 1, William and Kate spoke to staff at two hospitals, including the Queen's Hospital in Burton which is where sadly the first confirmed hospital frontline worker died from coronavirus. They're very much involved and trying to kind of play their part and still carry out some kind of role even if it has to be on the telephone. Mr. Ship pointed to the latest UK statistics. We've now had four NHS frontline workers who have sadly died from coronavirus. Nothing like Italy, where it's something horrendous like 60 or more. He added, but that's something that I'm sure William and Kate will be extremely concerned about. Ms. Robinson agreed, when we were on that 111 visit in Croydon, the Duke of Cambridge was speaking to the chief executive there about how in the weeks to come they would be playing their role virtually. They may be carrying out engagements virtually from now on. We can see that they are trying to stay engaged and in touch even if it has to be on the phone now. Due to the nationwide lockdown, the Duke and Duchess and their family have now moved to their residence in Norfolk. Although the NHS 111 visit itself was praised, Kate's outfit also caught the eye of onlookers. Royal commentator Angela Mollard revealed to the Royals podcast why the Royals' fashion choice was so important and the message it was sending out. Due to the nationwide lockdown, the Duke and Duchess and their family have now moved to their residence in Norfolk. Although the NHS 111 visit itself was praised, Kate's outfit also caught the eye of onlookers. Royal commentator Angela Mollard revealed to the Royals podcast why the Royals' fashion choice was so important and the message it was sending out. Ms. Mollard told listeners, William and Kate visited the ambulance service with the NHS. I love the fact that Kate was wearing a pink Marks and Spencer suit. It was absolutely gorgeous, but I love the fact it wasn't designer. It just said I am one of you. She can afford to wear anything she likes but I love the fact that it was normal. A Marks and Spencer suit is what women in London really wear to work. She was effectively doing that. Royal Revelation, How Did the Queen Pave the Way for Cambridge Children? The royal family are doing their part to try and keep morale high in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic, but how did the Queen pave the way for the Cambridge children? Across the UK and around the world the rapid spread of coronavirus has triggered an unprecedented lockdown, with Britons told not to leave their homes unless absolutely necessary. The royal family has been among those issuing messages to lift the nation's spirits in the wake of the virus. Prince Charles has spoken openly about having had coronavirus, official name COVID-19, and praised those working in the front lines across hospitals, in the community and behind the scenes. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have posted a series of Instagram posts urging their followers to look out for one another with mental health the main focus of their messages. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William have been in frequent contact with their patronages as well as reaching out to NHS staff to praise them for their hard work. Not only have the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge issued messages of support, but their children Prince George, 6, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, one have two. How did the Queen pave the way for the Cambridge children? George, Charlotte and Louis appeared in a touching video on their parents' Instagram, clapping for those working for the NHS. A video of the Earl and Countess of Wessex clapping alongside their children Lady Louise Windsor, 16, and James Viscount Severn, 12, was also published on the royal family's Twitter page. This was part of the Clap for Carers campaign where across the UK, Britons stood at their open windows, in their gardens, 
on their balconies and when the clock struck 8 p.m. clapped for those working on the front lines against coronavirus. The Cambridge is adorable video, posted on the Kensington Palace Instagram account, showed George, Charlotte and Louis stood outside clapping and smiling at the camera. The caption read, To all the doctors, nurses, carers, GPs, pharmacists, volunteers and other NHS staff working tirelessly to help those affected by hashtag COVID-19, thank you. Royal fans were quick to praise the family for their contribution. One wrote, Thank you, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. Another said, Beautiful family. Love how they are so respectful. Great parents. While a third referenced Charlotte laughing at the end of the video and said, that little laugh at the end. This is not the first time royal children have boosted the nation's morale. The Queen gave her first address to the nation aged just 14, speaking to children across the Commonwealth. During World War II, then Princess Elizabeth and her younger sister Princess Margaret spoke to children living away from their families during the war in a message to raise spirits. Princess Elizabeth and 10-year-old Margaret spoke on the radio during BBC's Children's Hour on October 13, 1940. She said, Thousands of you in this country have had to leave your homes and be separated from your fathers and mothers. My sister Margaret Rose and I feel so much for you as we know from experience what it means to be away from those we love most of all. To you, living in new surroundings. We send a message of true sympathy and at the same time we would like to thank the kind people who have welcomed you to their homes in the country. Before I finish I can truthfully say to you all that we children at home are full of cheerfulness and courage. We are trying to do all we can to help our gallant sailors, soldiers and airmen, and we are trying, too, to bear our own share of the danger and sadness of war. We know, every one of us, that in the end all will be well for God will care for us and give us victory and peace. And when peace comes, remember it will be for us, the children of today, to make the world of tomorrow a better and happier place. This was not the only time the Queen supported the nation during World War II, as by 1945, then 18-year-old Princess Elizabeth joined the Auxiliary Territorial Service and trained as a truck mechanic and driver.